What is up, y'all? It's your girl Chanel Moore, and I am back with another video. I know where have I been? Where have I been? Y'all, school. I ain't gonna say it's been kicking my butt, but this year is just like I don't know. Like the vibes was just off. Like, and for me not to be the only one is crazy. Like my roommate, we was feeling the same way. Like I don't know what it was. It was just school. It was so draining. Like I didn't even have like a lot of work to do because I had finished like all my hard stuff, like my chemistry and all that stuff that I needed for nursing. But by the way, I did change my major, y'all. Yes, I did change my major because I'm not going to lie. I took the T's test two times, two times, and I failed. Like, I really tried my hardest, but it's really my fault because when I took human anatomy and physiology, I did not pay attention. She, The teacher, she cared about the sentence, but at the same time, she didn't. Like, I would be in my room, like, just chilling, thinking I got it when I got it. But I did get on the test, but I guess it just didn't stick with me in my memory because I wasn't in class paying attention and stuff like that. Like, I would cram it all in before the exam or whatever. But, yeah. So, that's that. I changed my rate to social work. Yes, I did. I have finished all hard stuff. But if I would have passed my teach test, I totally would have went through with nursing. It's just I don't have time to wait a whole nother year, figure out classes. I just, I can't. I got to get on my life. So let's get right into the video because I know y'all don't want to be waiting too long. So this video is, I ain't going to say it's a part two, but it's just basically more updated videos to come. I'm not going to lie. People have been texting me, but I'm not going to say people because, you know, people be, people be lying. And I mean, people text you. But three people had texted me and they was just asking, like, about more advice and stuff like that. And I'm going to give y'all more updated advice. I'm going to just tell y'all basically how my college life been going this year, y'all. When I tell you, so much has been going on within this one school year like so much has been going on and that is crazy so yeah first i'm gonna start off by saying i know last year i said if you watched my previous videos i said i didn't have no friends so actually i did i made a friend at the end of last last school year so um i met my which was my roommate which now but we're not roommates no more because my my roommate yeah then i ended up meeting her friend care and then that's when we basically became like a little trio and stuff like that um and you know of course they all got their own little friends stuff like that but i did not make any friends i started i mean i met associates but i wouldn't claim them as friends how i do Kiara and maya i met her and she's basically like in the same boat like we're both in the same boat like if we're not gonna be more social then we gonna transfer schools because central it just did not feel like a school to me but i guess because personally i wasn't getting out of my room and going to experience college i wanted to transfer like i guess i wanted a handout with me i'm just sitting in my room all freshman year i'm talking about i was in a room bored depressed like i just i didn't even know i wanted to keep continuing college well let me stop my i did i just knew that i did not want to go to central no more um because it just felt like i did not have no friends it felt like central was not welcoming it was just not college for me and i did not get to experience what i came here for which was a college experience i mean i came here for a degree first because yeah your work comes before parties and stuff like that your work comes before anything because we got an app called fizz i'm gonna put it somewhere right here spell it da, 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 or the app thing anyways make sure you go follow it because if we can get the campus team you can get the campus hookup you can ask questions Anything that you basically need is basically like uh, inside Twitter for Central or whatever. So, yeah, so make sure you do your schoolwork before you do anything else because it was people on the Fizz app talking about some, oh, um, I failed my class, all my classes freshman year. Not one person, not two persons, not three, more than four people saying that. And I'm just like, yikes. I'm like, yikes. But then again, it's like, I wasn't out here partying. I wasn't out here getting my freshman experience, so I can't really talk. But I will say this, once I got out more this year, I was more of a procrastinator, but I did have, like, less work, but I still had a certain amount of classes. And, yeah, I would have to learn. I learned the hard way of prioritizing because I was talking about something. I'm like, I kept pushing this assignment off, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I could do it later, y'all. I'm talking about something. I'm so hyped for this party coming on spring fling, and this was a big part of my grade. Luckily, I got to beg my teacher to do it, y'all. I looked on my grade at 12 a.m. and my grade dropped, and it said zero. My grade went from an A to a C. And that right there, that will humble you. But at the same time, I'm out partying. I'm trying to act like, you know, I'm not knowing what's going on. Trying to get your GPA up after freshman year 
is hard. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm going to just say this. So, freshman year, I ended off with a 2.7 because I made a D. No, I, I'm lying. I made two Cs. I made a C in um, the introduction to physics or something like that. But yeah, so I took that. I made a C in that. I made a C in my math class because the teacher, that's why you got to make sure you, you, on the, you there like the first day asking questions and stuff like when we using Blackboard, scene gauge and stuff like that. That's the stipes and stuff that we use um, in college now because, you know, back in like high school, you use like Canva and stuff like that. Anyways, I'm going to get into that. So at the bottom, so we had our main assignments up here and then we had our like other assignments that were still a part of the main assignments down here. But I guess they wait they weigh more i swear on the freaking first week of school that you just say that these assignments are optional these assignments are optional so i'm getting to the end of the semester and i'm trying to figure out why my grade is stuck because i did not sit here and do these assignments at the bottom because i did not know and you could not make it up all you had to do was just try your best with finishing the class strong and i did i studied my butt off i did what i had to do for these tests yeah, but at first I was not under I'm, I was understanding, but I was not studying for the test and stuff like that. I'm talking about I'm just winging, I'm just chilling in my room. I'm chilling in my room. But even though this class took up most of my time, I'm just I did not really study for the test. And I'm telling you, I was studying half of the test. I mean, I was failing half of the test. Yes, I'm being so honest. So yeah, so make sure you do your work. Boom, do your work because you don't want to be like me. You don't want to be like people trying to get your up. So. I had a 2.7 because of that, so then I ended up getting it, um, I ended up bringing it up, um, my first semester, so I got it to, um, my first semester of my sophomore year to, uh, 3.08, uh, food trucks, so Central, it brings food trucks on Tuesday and Thursday from 11 to 3, yeah, they be having, like, wings, like, I ain't gonna say Mexican trucks, but then again, at the same time, Mexican trucks, Hispanic trucks, or whatever you want to call it, like tacos and all of that, and then they be having trucks with like chicken wings, ribs, and all that. But and then it also be coming at nighttime. It be coming. They just had started at the end of the semester. It be like one food truck that come at night, and it come from like eight to eleven. If I'm not mistaken, I never been to one at nighttime, but I've like rode past it or like walked past it or whatever at nighttime. Like, do not waste your flex on these food trucks because. That is what gets you, like, these food trucks is what we bring your flex down because this stuff is not cheap. It's not, like, a $9 meal, $10 meal. This stuff be, like, $15 to $30. And it's just, like, by the time you ring up, you just, you ain't in the mood to be, like, take that off or, no, nah, I don't want it because you don't want to be embarrassed or or whatever. So, yeah, that's what I spent a lot of my flex on my freshman year. And I should have knew better because with that 425 that I had, 475 that I had, Food trucks tore my flex up. I'm talking about at the end of the semester, looking hungry. Like, I'm talking about, remind you, it's only four months in the semester. By two months, I was done with flex. My flex was done. You thinking it's the other restaurants on campus? It's the food trucks that eat you up, too. It's the same car that you use because it got the flex thing. Um, It's the same car that you use, that you take on, on at orientation. So, next, I have the fixing classroom. If you did not know, First, this video is going to be all hard work. If you did not know, you have 15, your teacher has 15 minutes to get to class. If not, then the whole class can leave. But you said the class started at 10. At 10, 14, the teacher didn't walk in. We're like, oh, yeah. Da -da -da. If you're not here by 10, 15, then we're leaving. I'm sorry, we packing bags and stuff. And then next thing you know, 10, 14, the teacher here. So we all got gagged. All we got gagged. Like, I was ready to go lay that down. Lay it down. Lay it down. Oh, lay it down. Yeah, because it ain't nothing like going back to sleep. Because once I roll back in that bed, I'm I'm done. I'm done. You better be like, I'll get up for my next class when I have to. Yeah, um, say this that if you're not right there within the 15 minutes, you can leave. And there's nothing that they can do about it telling you to come out of class and stuff like that. Because at that point, I'm about to email the dean. I'm about to email the dean. So next, I have printing. So you do have, not you, but basically with your tuition and stuff like that. Um, you are paying to like print off the computers and stuff like that. And it's like, it's like a little red thing that pops up and tell you how much you have. I remember my freshman year, I'm thinking they, they're going to charge me this $15, but it's, it basically showed the amount that you have in your freshman year. You don't pay, but it's coming out of your tuition. Like you don't pay in a moment to print, but so yeah, don't be scared once you see that pop up on your computer. Um, and you basically using your, um, your e-card. 
yeah that's what it's called you basically using your ego card to swipe your thing like check in it to the printer so next i have leave the locals alone y'all y'all leave the locals alone leave them alone two of them try to keep them two of them well i'm, well, I'm just saying this so basically like when i was younger when i was like 16 like i was just like talking back and forth with this one dude but i wasn't really paying him no mind because at the same time like my mama's strict i'm not going nowhere i'm not doing nothing if it ain't for church i'm not going um said so, so basically we still followed each other or whatever like from time to time like he would unfollow me and then follow me back but i just i didn't care because like you ain't even talking so around you it's like he he started to look good, so he ended up texting me or whatever. Da da da. So my he hood dude, and I really don't do hood dudes like he, he do all of that like flame scam, all of that. I had no business being with him. What what is good goody tissue college girl doing with the hood nigga? Yeah. Anyways, he just he just wasn't good news. Like he was supposed to take me on a date, but he ended up coming to see me from the club. And let me just say that ended. It did not end well. He basically showed me, told me his intentions. And it's just like, if I wasn't raised how I was, or my daddy did not tell me this type of stuff, I probably wouldn't have thought like, oh, he, this ain't, this ain't bad. Da, 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 da. But I seen them red flags. I'm talking about, they was, they was loud. They was, the red flag was loud. Yes, yeah, so that's that. And then it was this other um local, recently local, y'all. I should left that man when he do that. I should left that man when he do that. How did I meet him? I don't know. He ended up following me. I don't know. Anyways, leave the locals alone. They not no good. They might look good. They might try to get you at the gas station, but run, run that way, run that way, please. Uh, Central had a freaking chlamydia outbreak. They had a chlamydia outbreak. At the ending of freaking fall semester. I don't know what was going on, but I'm talking about on the Fizz app. No, on our 1910 Shade Room. Um, if you don't know about them, I don't know because I've been trying to search for the page. I do follow them and they did accept me, but I just I just can't find nothing on there. They probably gotta take it down, which it should because it, it really don't be nothing, but at the same time, it'd be funny, a little funny key, but then it'd be messy at the same time. And it's just like these people be up here lying, like just lying for attention. So next thing you know, it was just like on the shade room, it's like Oh, this person gave me chlamydia. This person got chlamydia. This person burning. She burning. He burning. Da da da. On the fifth floor of Eagle City, George Street, they burning. And yeah, it was just it was crazy. Like I'm pretty sure everybody was making doctors up on me because at the same time, it's like you nine times out of ten in college, if you if you and that dude or that girl, y'all not making it established that y'all the only ones messing up with each other or gonna be doing something sexual then yeah good luck at being the only one being sexual so it was just like a, it was a, it was a scary thing because it's like you don't know if y'all sneaking and go pop up or not and then you know with certain um stds symptoms don't be showing up so people didn't know so people still went to go get tested and stuff like that i was actually like so i still want to go get tested luckily i have nothing thank you jesus um and yeah, so, and that's not the only STD this on campus. So make sure y'all be, y'all use a protection. I don't care if, oh, I didn't bring one. Da, da, da. You a girl at the end of the day, you know that you're having sex. So you need to keep some in your, I don't care. Keep them in your pocket, but keep them, keep them in your room. They provide some downstairs on each, in each residence hall. So get some. I don't care if you, you nervous, scared. You better sneak down in the middle of the night and go get you some. Boy, you better sneak down in the middle of the night and go get you some. At the end of the day, you got to be smart because, not only comes that people get pregnant and stuff like that and yeah this would be crazy you don't want to get pregnant you're like you literally made it to the milestone in your life where you are about to yeah you're you're an adult now i don't care you come in 16 i ain't gonna say that but at the same time it's like you have these adult responsibilities now so you gotta start being smart you can't be get caught lacking in any situation i don't care if they say oh da, 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 it feel good without it you, you, put it on we ain't doing it we ain't doing it we, we can go test for tests. That's what y'all need to be doing. That's what I have spring fling, y'all. If if you watch my past videos, you know I did not go to um, homecoming. But I did go to spring fling last year. And when I say I love everything about spring fling and homecoming this year, y'all, my first ever homecoming at 
I went to it was lit I loved everything about it I was out of my body I was out of my mind I was out of my soul um I recommend if you know you don't have friends your freshman year please do not hesitate to text me I don't care if you're a boy or a girl because I don't want nobody to go to go through what I experienced my freshman year like it was so lonely and depressed and like if I could I would have cried but I just think I was I was keeping God by my side and like praying to him and asking him for friends and stuff like that. I recommend I'll put some videos or whatever, maybe some pictures of for my own homecoming ministry and things look like. I recommend it. I just say be safe. Make sure you're not taking drinks and drugs with people or anything that you don't know or even people that you do know because yeah, people weird, people weird, people weird. I have jobs on off campus. So basically when you feel like you're fast but it asks you like do you want to do work study and that's just basically how you get a job on campus. And if I'm not mistaken, somebody told me that they only paid two thousand a semester, and it's just like I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that because I can make more off campus. So basically, they're supposed to send you an email, which I signed up for, but they never, they never sent me an email, which I, I don't know why. I really wanted to work on campus, and I feel like that was gonna help me make more friends in my freshman year. But yeah, so that's basically how that goes. You can work like at the um gym like working behind the desk being like assistants clean up and stuff like that working at the um game room and stuff like that just working behind the desk you can work um at the restaurants on campus you can work in the calf um but i don't know working in the calf is a little bit more embarrassing for me i feel like personally i'm not knocking nobody do what you do go get your money but it's like you gotta see everybody you know like you gotta see your crush you gotta see somebody that's probably like you yeah, it's just crazy. Um, I do want to say, let me tell you, I worked at Old Town, I worked at Fabric 21. Fabric 21 at South Point Mall, I do not recommend that manager. She was, uh, mm -hmm, she was a B-I-C-T. Yeah, she was that. Like, she made a work environment so bad. Like, if you know you so timid, do not work there. Because I promise you, you're going to be crying. Like, she was just, I don't know. And she was so petty. Like, there's no way when I started working within two months, everybody that I worked with except for two people quit. So I should have been left. That was a red flag. Yeah, and then I work. You get paid fifteen dollars though. So if you want to go deal with the BICT, mm -hmm, go ahead and do it. Good money. Good money. And then I worked at Ulta, fifteen dollars. I love the environment. Chill. I love the managers. Like it's such a welcoming and accepting manager and like an environment. We all giggle. We all laugh. The only thing that I do not like is the um, they be what. They be basically saying, trying to make you get credit cards and stuff like that when you want to register. And I, I just don't like that. I don't have time to be begging nobody one, two times, not even two times, but one time. Do you want to get a credit card? I don't want to beg nobody. No. Do not spend money that you ha that you don't have. Like, if you know you're down to your last little friend, like, oh, let's go here. Let's go out and eat. You know you don't you don't got that because you got $20 in your account. And y'all, most likely, y'all buy the Uber to the place. And then you want to sit there and eat. You about to eat, so you ain't you ain't got nothing. Don't spend money that you don't have. Here, my next thing: do not mess with the friends. They no, I don't care if you thinking, oh, I'm with the friends. Da 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 da. Um, I got the baddies. They no, they are talking just like girls talk, dudes talk, and they talk because dudes that's their ego. They like to brag. Oh, I mess with her. Da, 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 da. I know her too. They think you you a little bop now. So they trying to put you on with the friend. And you thinking, oh, I got it like that. Or, and stuff like that. And, yeah. They think you got it like that. And then the girl, she didn't tell her friend, oh, like, yeah. Oh, he a much. So now your friend, the friend want to see what a much like. So now she all up on you. And, yeah. It's just, it's, it's crazy. Like, too much. Um, they know, trust me, they know. Cause yeah, they be knowing. I'm pretty sure it's like group chat and stuff like that. Just boys be doing boy stuff. Like just just be big annoying. That fried chicken Wednesday, fried chicken Wednesday. I love it. Not necessarily for the food, it's just because it's like it's the HBCU culture, the NCCU culture. You get to see people stand, people putting on their fits. I'm talking about some people I've been around there scrambling. Scrambling at store trying to find me something to step in for a fried chicken Wednesday. Like the food, it'd be a plus. Sometimes it just be like, girl, get y'all back here cooking. What y'all got back? What y'all doing? Cooking the old grease? Cooking the old grease? Yeah. Um, but yeah, you get the modern troops out, the chili just come out, they be playing music, and it just be a vibe. I love everything about fried chicken Wednesday. Sometimes they don't really be lit, but then they get to do. But let me tell y'all, go between 12 p.m. To three but really it's between 12 
12 to 2. That's when it's lit because that's when the DJ come out at 12 and people pop out. Like, yeah, it just be so much fun. I love everything about it. And it's just like you get to see the culture. I'm pretty sure y'all, some of y'all didn't came when we had Fried Chicken Wednesday. Y'all just got to see how, y'all just got to see like how lit the campus be and stuff like that. They had 10 for the breaks. So we had 10 for the breaks Tuesday and Thursdays um, from 10 40 to 11 40. And I'm going to be completely honest. 10 40 is only lit when it's like spring fling or homecoming or special events. Like they only there when it's like special events and stuff like that when it's lit like after the first week and then the last last two weeks of um the semester that's the only time creek bowl is lit, lit so do not waste your time trying to miss class or get there because it's not lit i promise you it is so dead it was not a special event or it was not the first week and then the last two weeks of the semester yeah don't waste your time um and then if they do have like special stuff because i know like they have like um they might have like an ice cream truck or a slushy truck come in or just something they might be giving out shirts and stuff like that i'm talking about you need to get there at 10 35 if you're not there by 10 35 you're, you're done because by the time the greek ball is lit and yeah stuff be running out when i tell you i try to go to one event so i can get me some freaking pelicans and i got there with like 20 minutes late and then next thing you know the truck was leaving and i'm just like what what is going on ain't no way the dorm ratings um I'm going to just say, so basically, I stayed in Eagle City my freshman year. It is not what people make it seem. It is not a ghetto to me. Like, I promise you, it is one of the cleanest dorms that I know of. Other than somebody stinky, fishy, nasty, booty tail cell was duking in a trash can. Why are you duking in a trash can? So, I made me think it was somebody homeless. But then again, it's like the trash cans is in the freaking bathroom. So, I don't know. Like, the rooms, it was chill. It was cool. And stuff like that. Like the rooms was bigger than most of the rooms that I know of on campus or whatever. Yeah, I love Eagleson personally. I just didn't love standing on the standing on the fifth floor. I never known if the elevator broke in. I never known if the heat not working. Um, next I stayed in Lawson. Um, my second half of my freshman year, I loved it. Um, it's just that the sweet mates and stuff like that um they wasn't contributing to keeping the bathroom clean as it should be and plus my roommate she wasn't contributing to keeping it clean like it was just so much going on so you know me i wrote clean i, I wrote something i took a driver's marker and i wrote it i don't know it had like a little attitude to the message too so yeah and then i put a dash with my name chinese here's y n a i showed it because if y'all can come in this mirror and brush your teeth every day hopefully Come to this mirror, wash your hands and stuff. Y'all can go clean that bathroom. Y'all can go clean this area. You can go clean the shower. That's what you could do. And I was just, I was so over it. Rough thing, the room is small, but they have single rooms. So that's why people, the majority of the time, stay in it. Like, the double room with you and your roommate is so small. I went to Kier room, and her home roommate, I'm talking about some. They neck and neck. Neck and neck. You, you don't got no room. The room is little. Ain't no way that your, the room should be the size of my room right now. And I and I live in a four four four, four little room. Um, I've been to McLean <laughs> Central. You wrong. You need to tear it down. Don't nobody need to be laying in that. It's just it's old, nasty, disgusting. The the heat broke. Yeah, I, I had less stinky stink, so I was I was in there, and I was too mesmerized by him to even really care. But now think about it, that ain't no living condition. Central, you wrong. Um, Central do they do have mold issues that I know of. A lot of people know of on campus, but I personally haven't experienced none. E L Eagle Landing, I'm standing there. I don't I can't tell you about it, but it's just the elevators. I don't like the elevators, they scary, they get about to break down. Um yeah, I don't like it. Um, what other places? X classes. Try to bounce your classes out. I know some people be trying to get it over with within Tuesday and Thursday. But it's just like just having those two days and then Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And it's like, I need to breathe it. Like, I try having a freaking, like, I have four classes all together on one day. Which was three, but I had recitation for my, um, my, um, fitness class or whatever. And I was just like, I told, like, yeah. It was just. A lot in there plus make sure that you balance it out with fried chicken wednesday and stuff like that because 
Yeah. You won't you you won't be able to go if you got classes during fried chicken Wednesday, or just the proper time. Just making sure that you're spacing out, that you are having enough time to breathe and stuff like that. Like personally, I don't like having classes back to back because it's just like sometimes I don't be feeling like doing work, and I know like I can get up or after that class I can rush and do an assignment that was due before the class at seven is like one, and I got me like a good two hour break or a one hour break. I can help and finish that up and then go take it to class. So, so if you did not know, we do have like Central Day throw day parties, but it's not really on campus because it just begins shut down. It's just like you don't have no freedom. And plus the school, the activity board, they don't really be throwing stuff at the same time. So don't depend on Central to give you that college experience. You got to branch out, go have fun outside of campus. Also parties that we do have where the student, like the promoting teams and stuff like that they throw parties at luna or they throw them at 919 919 is considered a ghetto to me like it's something that's always happening um people be fighting from time to time like me like once you go there you are standing and like let me tell you, they be having they do this on purpose they be throwing parties where it's like free until 11 30 or 12 30. they do not be letting people in until freaking 30 minutes before the time is up so then they be trying to get you to pay i'm not paying i'm not paying i'm not unless i'm in a good mood i'm gonna give you this 20 and get out my face get out my face because you, you play with me you play with everybody in this line and let me tell you me and my friends we stood in line for two hours two hours and we got there when they when it started they was not letting nobody in and then plus Cause they be getting a promoted team out of the way, so they be taking up majority of the time trying to pat down a promoted team and all that. And it just it just be it be irritating. Yeah. So at um now when I we standing in line for two hours, I'm talking about something, and then we get closer and closer, and the next thing you know, the power go out. Why y'all got no generator? Why y'all got no generator? And it's doing homecoming, so everybody in the in the line mad because I just wasted my time getting an Uber over here. Put some gas in my car to get over here. Just where it's going. Why don't I got no generator? Y'all are a business. Y'all are a business. Luna, I went to Luna one time. I love Luna. It's just, I'm going to give y'all a preview of what happened. People started fighting. They was playing young boy. I thought you would have got a fight on Nuckety Buck. All I know is I'm in the club and I hear boys say, oh, that's who's. They go to him because they stole a car and his friend telling him, he like, chill, chill. We're not about to do that right now. Next thing you know, they're playing young boy. And the next thing you know, I'm getting smushed around the crowd. I don't think my legs from about to get snatched. I'm already in there just hot because I'm trying to, not trying to sweat. So my legs from won't come out, but I, I think I did that one. I put that thing up there real good. So I'm putting some videos in here so y'all can see. I ended up getting smushed in a bathroom, in a boy's bathroom. It was one boy in there, and then it was a lot of girls in there. And one girl, like, she was acting like, I don't know. It just was like, oh, just mother, motherly figure. Like, she was trying to get us all to go in the bathroom to make sure we safe and stuff like that. Because you don't know. People could be outside shooting. People could be in the club shooting. Even though they pack people down, but just like, at the same time, these people crazy. So, it's just one boy in there. He is dying. Like, I'm going to say he's dying, but that, that boy is going through something because they spray everybody to get out of the way, like pepper spray. Uh, so, yeah, so I ended up helping him or whatever. I won't really help him, but I'm just, like, trying to make sure. But other than this, I'm trying to make sure he's okay. Like, I'm pat, I pat his back, like, one or two good times, and people end up coming to help him or whatever. It was just, like, it was a scary thing to see at the same time and just so much going on. Me and my, we end up getting separated and just, like, that is a scary feeling too. like just get separated with somebody that you came with because you just never know they are outside where it's just a more vulnerable and open situation people can go to their cars and get guns girls 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 i'm sorry dude boys whatever y'all want to call yourself this is for the girls watch out for the dudes who be following you before school start and i'm talk i'm not talking about the ones the freshmen that's coming in with you because not so much on them but the ones who are like already at Central, they be plotting, they trying to get their roster up. They trying to make you the newest sneak link. And you thinking, oh, I done got me a dude. I'm, oh, I'm talking to somebody on campus. And then next thing you know, you think you get your roster up. Or you thinking, oh, da da da, me and this dude, we talking, da da da, already on campus. That is not, you know, those dudes, they know what they're doing. They know how to slick talk. They know how to get what they want. Because at the end of the day, we are younger when you coming in. 
um and more naive and you think oh i'm getting freedom now oh i can finally talk to boy and stuff like that and the next thing you know you think you about to hang out with him and just chill with him and that's thing you know you didn't you didn't get the draws up and that's not what you wanted not on no like red type of situation it's just more vulnerable situation and then you're gonna be looking back on the situation and be like what and the next thing you know y'all not even probably talking two weeks from now a week from now so yeah watch out for them and then yeah they be they be plotting they be plotting like in your pictures acting like oh i'm, I'm just following you because you got instances in your bio they they plotting they plot you got your refund so recently before you would just get it like immediately like a week or two after but central in all schools the fafsa financial aid they started a thing where it's like you um got a 10 class 10 days and then you get your refund and then central i don't know what they got going on but it was taking people up to two months to get their refund so it's semester halfway through almost over and people just not getting a refund which i think is crazy so yeah they're just taking a minute to get your refund and they have like different dates for everybody so you might not get the same um date as your friend or whatever you might be getting it a week later or four days later or whatever okay nobody wants to wait um i have do the extra credit i don't care how great your grade is looking right now do that extra credit do not be like me like because i needed if i would have did my extra credit i would have had an a in that class but i did not have an a because extra credit can add up to so many points that you missed like that could be a whole exam worth and then exams could waste so much in your class so yeah do the extra credit i don't care what your grade looking like just do it because you might need it. friends you basically network gotta get out there it's okay to get in them group chats but nine times out of ten group chats be messy or just certain people certain groups branch off and become their own friend groups and stuff like that which is okay and don't try to force yourself in these friend groups because what's not meant to be is not what's meant to be and that's something that i love about myself because my ex roommate her and her friends by the end of the semester school year they they all beefing and it's like uh, i save myself from situations like that i have um get mobile get mobile i'm gonna put it somewhere this is basically if you don't have your eagle card you can use that to get into the cab it tells you how much flex you got left um the transaction on the flex um you use it in a cab you can use it at a majority of the restaurants if they got like the specific one i i don't know why i put this like nine times out of ten they wanna they wanna do to do just put that in the back of your head. Nine times out of ten, they want to do to do. They want to do to do. And it's not always because, oh, I look good. It might be because your body. And plus, people people sleep with anything. It, it could be a raccoon. They're wrapping up this video because it is longer than what it needs to be. So make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure you text my Instagram. I'm going to put it somewhere. Make sure you text my Instagram. If you have any questions, you want to be friends, Um, you need some more advice, or you just don't know how to work this. Yeah.